Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Ball Tutorials. I am Koichi GZ and in this video we are again going to do a battle against um, one of the level 50 elite enemies. So this one is going to be the Rainbow Peacock which is probably going to be the hardest one of the uh, six uh, elite enemies. So for this battle I'm actually considering using a support character for this particular battle. Uh, I've been actually trying this battle for the past couple of days and actually have had no success. I did develop a strategy that was pretty effective but um, things just didn't work out. So most likely I will use a uh, support character but I'll show you the exact team that I've been using. So I have uh, two healers, so a sage healer and then a pirate healer equipped with the Kagura Bell. So I haven't done a weapon breakdown video of that, but that will be coming soon. Uh, that weapon is actually very valuable in this fight because it has an ability that can seal breath attacks and the Rainbow Peacock does use breath attacks, so that actually does work out well. So if you want to know more about the souls and equipment of this party, please look down in the video description below. So uh, here I'm actually going to select my uh, support character so I'll be right back soon. Okay I'm now back and I'm ready for this battle so I'm going to be using a battle master uh, for this particular uh, battle that's going to be equipped with the uh, dragon god uh, blade from the dragon quest 8 event so that is dane damage which is the weakest uh attribute to uh the rainbow peacock so um hopefully uh things do actually go well with this battle um we'll see what happens but uh here we go okay so here we go with this battle so hopefully things hopefully things do go well um usually my ranger goes first so yes so here we go with Fubaha. Then next is going to be uh, the support character Battlemaster. So 5,000, around 6,000 damage there. Then here, going to use Protective Shield. And then here, I'm going to try to seal the breath attacks of the Rainbow Peacock, so hopefully it works. Nope, miss. And then here, what I can try to do is use Puff Puff on uh, the Rainbow Peacock. Hopefully that works. And that actually did work. So now the Rainbow Peacock is going to attack uh, Kanata. So that missed there. So here again, going to use Fubaha. Going to use Stemi here. Then most likely um, Rainbow Peacock is going to be taken out of... Um, actually, no. Ooh, okay, good. It was not taken out of... Um, um, of Charm. And I've actually also sealed his breath attacks, so that actually um, is very, very good for me. So things are going actually quite well. So uh, something, let's see, let's see, probably name, maybe now the Rainbow Peacock is actually now back to normal. So here now going to focus my attacks on the Rainbow Peacock. So here, going to use Battle Demon Release. So let's see how much damage I do. So 27,000, wow, okay. So again, going to try to use Puff Puff. Probably not gonna work, yeah, miss. But uh, he was going to use Breath Attacks uh, that turn, so um, that really helped me out there. So, ooh, I think I saw him pretty much now um, under uh, 
50% health, I want to say. Okay, so there goes. Um, next turn, he's going to be using uh, Meta Marta. So here, what I want to do. Hmm. Not a whole lot that I can really do here. So what I will do is, actually I'm going to defend. Heal. And then, okay, my battle master is just gonna go in. 17,000 damage. And then actually he's almost down. So actually I'm just gonna go in for the attack. No shadow bind, but uh, possibly could get taken out here. No. So here again, going to go and defend here. Heal up with my sage. But hopefully, hopefully next round. Hopefully next round, uh, I'll have the uh, Rainbow Peacock taken out. Depends on what this next... Ooh, okay, wow. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. And taken out. Okay, so now all that's left is Kanatan. Hopefully he only has, okay, he only has uh, one action for that round. Uh, but this next round, uh, he's going to do uh, some heavy hitting. So I don't have to worry about uh, breath damages or breath damage anymore since uh, Kanata it doesn't use breath attacks. So Kagura Bells. So pretty much with the Rainbow Peacock down and taking down actually quite fast, um, I don't have to worry too much about Kandata. Uh, in this case, he's actually very easy to take down. So pretty much all that is is just taking the time to take him out. But just to see, yes, he's almost down, so... Um, it's going to heal up. So possibly this turn he should be, he probably might go down. Yes, right there. Okay. And a conduct to soul and I get a D. Okay, so um, with that battle, uh, you did see um, that having a support character on actually really did help out. Uh, you did actually see um, the other uh, status effects you could put on uh, the Rainbow Peacock. So you can charm it and you can actually seal its breath attack. So those are actually quite effective in this battle. Um, normally I would try to not use a support character, um, but in this case I kind of needed the help. Uh, I've been actually going at this for quite some time, so um, I decided to actually just break down and actually use the support character. But yeah, thank you Miroru. Uh, Miroru. So um, yeah, so this was um, the Rainbow Peacock uh, level 50 elite enemy battle. So next um, is going to be the actual Kanatan battle. So that actually is not going to be very difficult. That should actually be quite uh, definitely easier than this one. And most likely I won't need two uh, healers for that battle. But um, that video will be coming soon, so please stay tuned for that. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. So um, be ending this video, so uh, see you next time. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.